No, you you want to twist it into something that benefits Okay, you. I'm, so twi I'm twisting. I'm twisting. Why am I twisting? Get it, get it, get it. All right, go to Revelation 5.13, please. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth. Okay, and slowly. Razuk, you're going too fast. Slowly. Okay. Because you go too and fast and you don't hear what I'm going to ask you. Read Revelation 5.13 in your Bible slowly. Revelation 5.13. Read it for me. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth and on the sea and all the things in them saying to the one sitting at the throne <laughs> and to the Lamb be the blessing of honor and the glory and the might forever and ever. Okay, now. Before living creature. Well, you're reading verse 14. It's okay. In the first part of 13, can you read what says, I heard every creature where? In heaven. Finish it. And where? And on earth and underneath the earth. Finish it. And on the sea and all things in them. So John is saying then every creature, right? Before you move on. He says every creature, right? Yes. You sure it's every creature ever? Because he says everywhere, right? All of them, right? Every creature. Good. You but just this proved is before the end comes. And beautiful. You just admit Jesus is not a creature. Thank you. Because now read who they worship. Read it. And to the Lamb be the And to the, the Lamb. Oh wow. Every creature in all creation gives Jesus the same worship forever that they give to God the Father. Thank you, Razul. And keep reading and you see Jesus bowing down to the No, Father. you don't. I'll pay you a million bucks to show me where Jesus bows down. Go ahead. Don't change it into something you want. Go ahead. Show me where Jesus bows down. Quote it. You said it. Show it to me. Jesus bows down in submission of his father. Show me in Revelation 5 where he bowed down. It's not in Revelation okay, 5. Okay, so, you know that. so let me repeat what you said. Everyone just heard you. You just admit to everyone, your own translation, you read it. Every creature, you said it's every creature. But now it says every okay. creature saying to the one on the throne and to the lamb. So you didn't answer the question. How can Jesus be a creature when every creature is distinct from him and every creature is giving Jesus the same honor they give to the father, something that you don't even do? Because he's a king. I get, you, you still don't get it. Okay. How can Jesus be a creature if every created thing in all creation is honoring him the same way that the father is being honored because the father is not creation. So every creature is separate from him, but every creature is also separate from the lamb. How can they be separate from the lamb if he's a creature? You're not answering the question. If you're giving respect to something, you're not praying to it. There's a big difference between respecting something and praying okay, to you, it. Okay, you're not getting my question, Azuf. This is what's killing me. Every creature is on one side. And God the Father and Jesus on the other side, meaning just like God is not part of creation. He's separate uh -huh. from every created thing. Notice where the Lamb is. He's not part of every created thing. He's separate from them, receiving the same honor that God receives forever and ever. How if Jesus is a creature? You didn't answer the question. He's not receiving the same honor as okay. the Father. Read it. Being read it. Read it. I just read it. Read it again or He's I'm going to have to read it for you. I'll read it for you if you're scared to read it. Read it again. You want to it to get to the else. get to the mic. Read it again. That's not before the end comes. Doesn't Jesus bow to the Father? Why is no? That? There's nowhere in the New Testament at the end that Jesus bows. You're misquoting. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what you're quoting to show that you don't know the Bible. You're quoting Go First Corinthians. Can I tell you where you're quoting? You're going to talk over me. I'm not like you. I know the Bible. I'm going to show you where it's at. In 1 Corinthians 15, 28, which you're misquoting, it says that when Jesus hands the kingdom to God, he will subject himself to him so that God will be on and all. In your sick what? mind, subjecting means bowing. Where? Where do you get that so from? what does subjecting mean in your mind? Go ahead. The very me. same thing that it means when Jesus subjected himself to Mary and Joseph in Luke 2, 51. Does that mean he bowed to Mary? No, it means that he no, gave it the means, honor oh, to good somebody one. else. Oh, good one. So just like Jesus subjected himself to Mary and Joseph, Luke 2, 251, that doesn't mean and he bowed to them. It means he submitted to them and honored them and obeyed them. Jesus can and be subject person, to the Father, but it doesn't say he's bowing down to the Father. 
Show me that, please. And this is the verse where the subjection is important because this is the living king in heaven bowing down to his heavenly father. Okay, where does so it say he's bowing down? Heavens. You're not listening. Otherwise, where does, does it say he's Bible? bowing down? Subjection is bowing. No, it's not. Because if I use your logic, the same word in Luke 2.51 Jesus subjected himself to Mary and Joseph. That means he was bowing before the feet right. of Mary and Joseph. I will go with you. So what is your subjection? Okay. What, what does the word mean? Go ahead. No, 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 no. You're not going to change it on me. You said Jesus no, 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 bowed no, down to the it. Father. I'm, I'm waiting for the it. verse. Show me the verse. Show me the verse where it says Jesus bowed down to the Father. I'm not going to get you out. Don't skip out. Tell me what subjection okay. means. Don't Show me where it says Jesus bowed down to the Father. I'm still waiting. I'm not going to get you on. Don't twist his words. Tell me Show me where Jesus bowed down subjection. to the Father. You have to tell me what subjection means. I'm not letting this go. Yeah. This is why I'm here to teach. No, you're you are gonna let it go because you're not gonna tap that. You, know exactly you said he bows. I'm asking you to do that. Okay. Because I'm going I'm to give you a final to chance to show me where Jesus bows down to the Father with all creation. I'm waiting. Objection means bowing. So did Jesus bow to Mary? <laughs> In a different way. But oh, this is a different way. To his father. In a different way. Okay, so Jesus bowed down to Mary and Joseph in a different way. Can you explain what way that was? Honoring them. Okay, so you think bowing down to someone means the same thing as honoring them? You sure? Absolutely. So okay, I want everyone to hear that. Wait, wait. I want everyone to hear that. He just said. If you honor someone, you bow down to them. You just proved that the Father bowed, bows down to Jesus. John 8, 54. The Father bows down to Jesus? According no, to your logic. Me, according to your logic. Let me repeat your logic. If you okay. honor someone, that's the same thing as bowing down to them. Read John 8, 54, please. Read it for me. Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. What did Jesus say, by the way? You can read it. His finish it. Don't stop. Uh, but who glorifies him? He's going to bury you now. It is my father who glorifies me. Oh, what was His that? Father. Who glorifies no, Jesus? He's not glorifying himself. Okay, but wait. The but father is glorifying God. Jesus. See, now you're, you're starting to manifest. The father Why glorifies Jesus. Oh, wow. You're the one saying that Jesus is God. And Jesus is telling you, I'm not God, and you're saying... No, Jesus up, said he's not the Father. God. Okay, guys, is he a waste of time now? It's up to you guys, because you see this guy's getting destroyed. There we go. Okay. So the, the on the okay. Head, on the head. okay, so what is does the Father the glorify the Jesus? All right, it's a waste of time. Can you reply to me what your reply is to subjection? Okay, very easy. It means that Jesus submits himself yeah. to the Father's authority and the Father's obey uh, commands. Pardon himself what why would he submit himself because, because he's, he's not God? the father okay perfect so it's wait, wait 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 let me wait wait so he's not the father he's not god you don't believe that because you believe he's a god so you're lying you just spoke from your own mouth there's yes. two different identities and one subject exactly to the other. which trinitarian that doesn't is think jesus is is not the father please quote to me the trinitarian that says Jesus is the same identity as the Father. Come on, Rizuk, you're embarrassing yourself. Well, if this is embarrassing myself, I'm honored okay. to be embarrassed. Now, let me ask you a question. Because let I me ask you a question related to this. Can I ask you a question Father related to this, Rizuk? Rizuk. Yeah, you don't even uh, notice it. Rizuk, can I it's ask you a question? Part. So you're barking now. You're manifesting. Control the demon. Let me ask Thank you the you. question. Can I ask you the question now? Okay. Yeah. You're just, you just said, I want everyone to hear your logic. Because Jesus is subject to the Father, he can't be God, right? That's your logic, right? Absolutely. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I want everyone to hear you. Don't run now. Don't tap dance. In Luke 2.51, Luke 2.51, it says Jesus is subject to Joseph and Mary. That means Jesus can't be human because he's subject to other humans. So Jesus isn't human, right? Okay. Is Jesus human? You're not listening. Is Listen to the argument. Rizuk, listen to the argument before you embarrass yourself. Is Jesus human? 
Muhammad okay, Sallam, bye bye. showing you something okay, bye that bye. was honored by Jehovah God, bowing to the Father. And you say it's not. Okay. Waste of time, right? And this guy wanted to debate me.